No one will ever care about your financial situation as much as you do. Sure, you can hire a bookkeeper to process the payables and receivables, a financial advisor to help you through the thicket of complex investment decisions, tax professionals to help you with tax planning strategies, and insurance reps to figure out the appropriate employee benefits and plans you should offer. But at the end of the day, you are the one that has to make the final decisions about every financial matter that will affect you, your business, present and future lifestyle, as well as the financial well-being of your family. To make those decisions intelligently, you must be armed with knowledge. What information is important for you to know every day? Not just so you can run your business more effectively, but also to give you peace of mind. For example, let's say you own a car wash. You know that in order to meet your monthly nut, you have to have 100 cars paying the minimum price going through the wash every day. You also know that in certain months of the year, there's going to be X number of rainy days that people don't wash their cars. How much money do you need to save each month so you can cover your hard costs, rent, utilities, insurance, etc.? during those months when inclement weather could wreak havoc on your business? Or what if unexpectedly during your busiest month, a machine breaks down and you realize you're so stretched financially that you don't have the funds to repair or replace it? Restaurants know how many times a table has to turn in a day to be profitable. Sales organizations, through their own lens, need to know how they're doing against the goal set during this time period, as well as reviewing their sales forecast to anticipate how much business they're projected to close in the next 30 days, for example. Service professionals like CPAs, attorneys, physicians, and the like need to calculate how many actual billable hours they have available each working day so they book clients accordingly and at what hourly rate they need to charge so they come out ahead at the end of the month. Oddly enough, every business is cyclical and bad things can and will happen over time the loss of an important customer or critical employee, the arrival of a new competitor, a service provider delaying the delivery of a critical component, the filing of a lawsuit. These things can all stress the finances of a company. If that company is already out of cash and borrowing potential, it may not be able to recover. Every business is unique and every business will have different key performance indicators, KPIs, that are critical to know if you are making or losing money on specific products and services you offer, if your overhead is costing you more this year than last, and if you're on or off track to showing a profit. This is the only way you can drill down to be able to ask those important why questions. Why did our supplier charge us more this month than last? Why did our insurance double this year from last? Plus, the ability to ask different questions you maybe never thought to ask because the information provided a new insight. Bottom line, you cannot be in control of a business if you don't know what's going on. With bad numbers or no numbers, a company is flying blind and it happens all the time. In reality, that's the job of the chief financial officer, one of the many hats you as the entrepreneur has to wear until a real one is hired. You can't make the best decisions, pursue the best strategy, or focus on a big goal until you first recognize and evaluate all the options, opportunities, and business intelligence you have available to you. Knowing your numbers helps you identify what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong, what you could be doing better, differently, more effectively, and more profitably, and what you know but don't act upon. You can't know what area of your business to focus on and improve on until you know the realities of these areas. Success in business is never automatic. 
So much of it depends on the owner's foresight and organization, which means developing the instruments you need to navigate so you stay in control. Fact is, there are only three ways to manage a company, by observation, by judgment, or by measurement. When we manage by measurement, we keep score. Here's to you winning.